Hey, how's everybody doing today? So I'm going to show you how you can transfer files from your iPhone to your MacBook and vice versa using AirDrop. AirDrop is great, guys. It is the speed is transfer speed is super, super fast. And I'm going to show you in a second how fast we can pull transfer a 4K footage on here. OK, so first thing I'm going to do is we're going to move a file from my iPhone to my MacBook and then we'll do vice versa. So first thing you want to do is you want to scroll up like this on your iPhone. And here's AirDrop here. So I'm going to tap on AirDrop and then I'm going to tap on everyone. Now take note, once I enable AirDrop, it's all automatically going to turn on my Bluetooth as well. So when I type on everyone here, my Bluetooth will come on. There you go. Now it is on. Now I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here. Now I'm going to go into my photos here and let's do this. Here is 4K footage right here. This is two, two minutes and 23 seconds. This is like 900 megabytes. It's actually almost one gig of data because it's recorded in 4K. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this. I'm gonna transfer this. And then once, once I do from here is the bottom left-hand corner, you see this uh, share icon. Go ahead and tap on that. And then, I mean, from here, you can tap on additional um, files and whatnot. I'll go ahead and put a picture on there as well. And you can see that it says tap to share with AirDrop. My MacBook already popped up. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on my MacBook here. And once I tap on this, we should see something come up here. So let me go ahead and tap on it. Okay, there you go. Now this little window here pops up and I can either uh, decline it or accept it. I'm just going to tap on this down arrow here. Now I can open up in Photos or I can save it to Downloads, okay? I typically just save it to Downloads just like this. Now remember, this is like almost one gig of data. So I have to give this a second to uh, transfer and it's just about halfway now and actually you know I've actually don't even really ever use my lightning cable anymore I just use airdrop it's just a lot easier for me rather than always have to plug in the cable it's just inconvenient this airdrop just works excellent okay so there we go that's 4k footage already um, transferred so let me go ahead and take a look at see how actual big the file is so let me go to my finder here and then let me click on uh downloads and then yeah look at that 905 megabytes that's almost one gig and i also transferred this photo okay so let's do this now let's go ahead and move um a file from my mac to my to my iphone so let's just go ahead and just let me just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go ahead and transfer this, this photo here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight this right here. And then I have that share icon right here. Let me tap on that. And then I'm gonna tap on AirDrop. Okay. And now it says, to share with the iOS, ask them to open the, con okay, control center. Okay. I have to actually go back in here. I, oh, I already have, um, I already have my AirDrop on. Okay, sometimes it takes a second. Okay, so there's my iPhone. The name of this phone is iPhone. So let me go ahead and tap on that. And then there you go. That's the photo. And then I simply go ahead and just accept it. And there you go. And then if I go back, it should be on the last one down here. And that's pretty much it. If you guys still need assistance or any help, just comment below. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.